I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. It's caught by Gronk for a pass touchdown. Rob Gronkowski, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots have moved out in front. And they will take a seven-point lead now. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five yards with a new rule as he's taken down right at the 20-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, and what's interesting is, what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And that was a beautifully executed screen pass. They let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front. Completed the pass. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Patrick Chung. And he'll take it all the way out near the 30-yard line. And now out come the Patriots. And that last drive, a long drive. But not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. They come out here in the eye. Brady will try again on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big-time, spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. So, Brandon, when this offense gathers together to watch tape for this game, they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves until the coaches get upset about the play we just saw. But you know their defense is going to be. But we put up big points all game long. The defense is going to win one every now and then. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful not being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. They'll give it to him right up the gut. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And a cut to the sideline. A big-time play there for New Orleans. 47 yards. Well, they know they've got a good starter. Now the guy coming in to spell him shows he can run it pretty good as well. And I think he appreciates the starter. Wearing people down, tiring them out a little bit. He took full advantage, didn't he? Came in with fresh legs and carried the ball. Going motion right, Sneed. Back to the ground, this time with Ingram. And not much running room. Down to the 32. A gain of three, second down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Well, I think we know by now that every run is not going to be broken and get all the way to the end zone. But these short ones still have their value. You can still set up the play action and throw the football. You control the clock because they, you have the ball and they don't. And often the physicality sets the tempo for the game. Now a play fake here on first down. He's got time. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. 
Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decide to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. Again, we'll see the pistol here. They go play action for Ingram. Now Breeze. And he can't hang on. That's definitely going to be one he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. Offense certainly looking to score some points, but they also need ball security here late as we get down to the final moments of this one. Breeze now, and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, an incomplete pass certainly doesn't look like a good play <laughs> for the guy throwing it today. As many interceptions. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. And his kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So an interesting call there to take the three. I guess they're thinking their hands were tied, but in the fourth quarter, that field goal, it really might not help them much at all. Now whistles blow, and the Patriots are going to take another timeout. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. This is secured by the Patriots. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. Brady now on first down. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. And here he'll... And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. And the offense here just looking to stay in bounds, complete the short passes, and put this game on ice. Blunt, the lone running back. And he'll get it up the middle. And he will be stopped here for no gain, and then it's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Third down and three. Now Brady. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They'll look to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Left. Breeze gives it up to Ingram. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. One yard, the official pick up there, so it's going to set up third and nine. Back to throw. Surveying the field. To the sideline, and oh, a nice catch there. Made sure the feet were inbounds, and they were. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, 
foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Down four late. Got to go for it here on fourth down. They'll send a big tight end in motion right. They're running. Ingram. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. That one good for 14 yards. And they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. He'll look to throw. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. They got exactly what they wanted there. Out route, catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock. And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them in bounds and have the clock run. So I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll make the tackle. An out route, that, that's not the way you're supposed to play it. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Easy. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Back to throw. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints' touchdown. Brandon Coleman in the final minute, and the Saints have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And last year that would have been a net gain of five on the return. This year he stopped where he would have been if he had taken a knee. And that's at the 25. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. They're only in need of a field goal. A decent amount of time on the clock. So... Tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. They practice they? it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. Offense still needing 10 yards. Second down. He's back to throw. And Crusher there as it's intercepted. A great read and it's picked off. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Now does the Saints offense now as they get ready to take over here. They have the three-point lead. Defense did their job. Now, late game. Although it looks good, you know the coaches, they haven't counted this as a victory yet. I agree with you totally. Big applause for the defense, but no one has taken their headset off on the sidelines. They don't believe this game is over. The offense has to close this one out by taking care of the football. And they'll try to close it out now. They come up in an offset eye. Bree's going to throw here. And he's got it over the middle, Flaner. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Kobe Flaner from 19 yards away. And the force turnover on defense leads to six points. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. 
This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And last year, that would have been a net gain of five on the return. This year, he stopped.